Hello and welcome back to another episode. It has been a long time, but today I am very excited to share with you a little update on the Football Academy soccer school project that I set up just over a year ago. So at that time I said that I've got this ambition to try and really make a big impact on participation numbers and what age kids start playing football. I just thoroughly believe that it's the right way to go. But the major barrier to doing that is trying to create something which is sustainable and the best way to do that is by getting the community members involved from the start. So what I did, and if you've not seen it, there's a video now that you can see where I talk about how I set one up in Belma Pan. Um, but over the past year or so, we're now in a different world. We've had COVID restrictions and we've had no football for over a year. Things now just starting to open back up and it's time that this project really started to get going again. What I've been doing is I've been working with different teams in each of the different 10 football regions within the country, trying to get this off the ground within their communities. So empowering staff, coaches, everybody to try and make this a reality in their own context. And I got the call a couple of weeks ago that Corozal, uh, an area right in the north of Belize, is pretty much ready to go. So I sat down and I met with the, the key kind of admin people and the person who's going to be leading that project and said, and just had a little look to see what they've put in place. And I've been totally blown away by what they've managed to achieve. They've taken the basic blueprint and the expectation that I set out and just ran so far with it. It's way, way, way more than anything I could achieve with the resources I had. And that's because these are people who are based in that community and have respect in that community and know what right is right for their own environment. Without these people working together, there's no chance of this, this project succeeding. So I'm delighted to be invited to their opening ceremony, which I'm gonna go along to. I've recently moved to uh, the island of San Pedro, which is a beautiful, beautiful place. And I'm gonna be taking the boat across to Corozal in order to go and check that out. I. I am a retired educator. I am the person who has spent quite a bit of time to put this training program and hence the establishment of the Football Academy of Corozal. For me as an educator, the greatest satisfaction is always to see others make a difference in the lives of others. There is so much that I have been able to enjoy as a person, uh, as an educator and now as a coach that I feel that I am indebted to the community and so I am volunteering all the time, all the effort to, to do that because I, I feel that by donating my, my time and my effort it will make a difference for others. So we just completed the first, the opening ceremony for the Corozal Football Academy or the Football Academy of Corozal, however it is called. It was a super successful day. We had really good representatives down. We had police down here. We had the mayor down here to make sure everything was COVID safe, following the protocol. Um, it's, it's exceeded my expectations by so much. Just looking at these pictures that they've set up behind me, I heard that Mr. Mai was here till 9 p.m. last night, um, painting the lines, making sure the pitch was in good condition, just going that extra mile. And this project is all about its community members. And when you have community members like Mr. Mai at the top of the chair in this project, it can only succeed because his energy that he puts into these things and the, the team around him that are there supporting the administration and organizing their snacks, coaching the players, it's just the perfect combination. And I hope that this, this one academy, it really starts to get the momentum going and that other regions become jealous of this. This is a world away from what I was doing in Belmopan, this is 
This is really a high standard, what they're doing, the program they're putting together, the way they're embedding values into their curriculum, the way that they're coaching more than just football. They're coaching players, they're developing players to become really outstanding citizens. And I love what they are doing here with this project. And, and I'm, I'm really excited to see the knock-on effect this has countrywide as other regions take inspiration from this, take the this ideas that they've got and start to apply that within their own community context. Today has been one of the best days I've had in Belize and I've been away from football for such a long time to be able to come out and see young people coming out and getting their first experience. Speaking to parents today who said that this was the first time their kid had ever played, uh, seeing them socialising again. A lot of these kids haven't been in school for a year and a half so for them to actually just be able to speak to somebody else their age that, that isn't within their own household. It's really special what they've done here today and I'm, I'm so proud and so honoured to have been a part of it. It's been a really good experience.